Tipperick Mogi Report podcast brought to you by Tipperick Mogi TV. I'm Geraldine Canan and I'm delighted to be joined by three very special guests for our first ever episode. This is, of course, our 2020 Camogie All-Stars, Anya Slattery of Shannon Rovers, Mary Ryan from Money Gall, and Turtle Stars who is Karen Kendi. Ladies, you're very welcome to the show and congratulations once again on your huge achievement. Thank you. Thanks, Geraldine. Uh-uh. Um, so for those who aren't aware, the Camogie All-Stars were held last Saturday and um, it was held virtually online on Camogie Association Facebook Live. And uh, I suppose the first thing I'm very curious to find out is where were you girls last Saturday night? Who would you wish? Had you the laptops hooked up to the TV? Had you a bit of a party? Because that week alone you had been... Uh, named as the goalkeeper on the Sports Dads Team of the Year. Earlier, you had been named the Women's Ireland Team of the Year and the uh, Off the Ball Team of the Year. So you must have been quite confident watching it. Um, no, to be honest, it was kind of a shock. I didn't really expect it now, to be honest. But um, no, it was good. No, no, it was good. And were you at home or who were you with watching it? Or? Yeah, I was home, perched up on the couch with um, my sisters and parents, so I was well suited in. So great excitement when your name was called out. Yeah, big shock, it's it. All of them had a bigger shock than me, to be honest. Yeah. Brilliant. And what about you, Mary? Um, I suppose you had been nominated, I think it was five times um, previously in your career, but no City West this year, no banquet, no black tie affair. Or were you watching at home in Money Gall? Um, I wasn't actually watching sure I, I didn't um I was I had a bit of a hectic day Saturday and I was um doing some study here and I, I'd actually just turn on the athletics in the background and my head down and the phone suddenly kind of just went crazy. So that was that was how I uh got the news and it was it was lovely news to get and lovely lovely messages to get so uh the study was quickly parked <laughs> <laughs> so that must have been a first so a Kamogi all-star winner who was who was studying while being announced as 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 an all-star so your phone must have been hopping for the rest of the night it was yes yeah, i'm sure the girls are saying yeah it was it was um lovely news to get uh and yeah the the, the family group kind of was was the first um message that I saw and it was it was yeah it was nice to catch up with the, the family then after that yeah. Excellent. And what about you Karen? I hope please tell me that at least you were watching it. <laughs> I was yeah. <laughs> um I was just at home with the family. Just watching in the sitting room a little less glam than other years. <laughs> Excellent. Um I suppose you had been nominated previously Karen in HD and 19 so how were you feeling last Saturday were you hoping maybe that this would be your year or um I think you're kind of always hoping but you're never gonna you never think it's going to be a reality like it's great to be nominated the last two years but like when you're up there you're like uh, no one near this but <laughs> I know it's great to get very good and since then I suppose what has the reaction been like um Anya, did I hear something about Shan Rovers girls doing a drive-by celebration for you? Yeah, um, Sunday, I was actually about to have a nap and Beanie started ringing me and she just said, Slats, come out to the front door. And I walked out and there was no one there and next thing I heard, beeping galore and looked up the road and about 15 cars were coming down the hill with flags and banners and signs and sh- Everything so it was good, yeah. I think that's when the reaction kind of started to kick in. Then, fantastic, that's brilliant. Mm. And Mary, there was a lovely tweet, um, from Money Gall GA, a uh, picture of you playing, um, many years ago at primary game, and in the caption was from, from primary game to an all star. So, I no doubt everybody in Money Gall GA club and Camogie club and the whole parish is really proud of your achievement, yeah, absolutely. I suppose that's probably the you know the, uh, the nicest thing about the the past few days the messages that have come through from um club mates and family and uh I suppose past you know past players teammates and mentors and coaches and and that and it's yeah I, I haven't got back to everyone but it's been 
it's been definitely nice and you know heartwarming getting the messages and, and very grateful for all the messages coming through. And Karen, the same day, I, I read another tweet, Torda Sarsis Kamui Club uh, opened history books and write her name in, our first all-star and nobody more deserving than the great Karen Candy. Just a real sense of pride there from, from your own club. Yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah. I think can we thank Katie McCormick for that one. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's great. It's, it's nice to be able to give some good news now to the club and... I probably haven't seen people in it in a while like from or that you usually meet around the club so getting messages from them is lovely and catch up with everyone it's nice something to chat about and do you feel about. yourself that you've after making history you know it's been a historic year for Turles Arsys Kamui Club you captained them this year to intermediate uh county final you'd be playing senior club Kamogi this year in 2021 um can, can you feel a sense of you know god I've done something I'll go down in history I've won an all-star um, I haven't really talked about the All Star now, but going down in history, but we definitely we talked about it during year making history going up senior, so definitely proud about that. Brilliant. Okay, we have three clips that we're just going to play. The first one here is Anya, um, and the great save you made uh, against Waterford. Um, this this save has been shown many times. A brilliant save against Beck Carton. Anya, I'm sure you remember remember this moment well. Yeah, she's, um, I think that one now is probably the most memorable one now, to be honest, but um, I think before, it, when it got dropped in, it was in a rock and in the space of three seconds, Beck Carton had it in her hand and I suppose like anyone else really, you're just going for goal and luckily I got the save in. There's not too many people that stop Beck Carton from that range, so your reaction was brilliant. Um, Lots of bodies in your way. Probably like some Mary and Karen were getting in your way there, or who was in your way. <laughs> I know. Um, I know. It was. I think. I think it was actually Emer Luke when this. I'd say if she was a little more to the right, <laughs> I wouldn't have seen a whole lot of it. We blame Emer. So, but I think that's what made it even <laughs> a better save. Is just such split reactions and so much going on in front of you. So it was an unbelievable save. Um, Mary, a clip here with you. Um, trademark flick. Flicking the ball away, I think it's from Beck Carton again. She won't like this. Um, <laughs> we saw that all year from you, Mary. Um, how did you find being back full back? You seem to take to it so naturally. Obviously, you did you won an All Star? But how did you find it yourself? Um, yeah, it was a new challenge, I suppose. Um, uh, at first, I was probably not overly keen. You kind of want to be more out around play, but um, yeah, I I don't know. It was a new challenge and. I suppose you just kind of you're you have a new new task at hand in terms of maybe marking or I don't know being a bit more patient uh, back there and um yeah I suppose that that kick was um nice to get the commentary and the coverage like just to you know to to feel kind of that you've you know made a, a good interception on a on a big day like and uh, more than on your save and and. Karen's goal. <laughs> yeah, speaking of Karen's goal, that's the next clip we're going to show you. Um, Karen, a great goal, a crucial goal against Waterford. Um, you know, I suppose guaranteed to Breary's place in the in the All Ireland semi final. Um, first thing is, how did you end up so far up the field? Were, were you a midfield at that stage, or what position were you in? Uh, I don't know where I was, but <laughs> I don't know how I ended up up there. Never really a good thing, but I know. Um, you weren't like, were you weren't marking someone and following them? You just were attacking and going forward. I think I, uh, I think I could have been midfield at that stage, so makes a little bit more sense. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> I can't even remember when I was up there. I thought I thought I'd finally find out how you ended up so far up the field, but by the sounds, we're not really too sure yourself. <laughs> You no. needed to bring we were just to see, see good morning. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Mary? I said we I think it was Roshan Howard read a comment for throw the ball in, Karen, throw the ball in. <laughs> <laughs> we were yeah. just like to see that. Yeah. Got it over eventually and got us into an all iron semi-final. That's the most important thing. Um I suppose the three of you are so humble and unassuming, you're not gonna praise yourselves so we'll Get you to talk about each other. Um, 
Anya, firstly, for you, your first year uh, in the goals, uh, starting for Tiberi's senior team, what was it like to have Mary Ryan playing full back, back in front of you? Um, yeah, like when I first came in training, like all the girls were, they were just encouraging nonstop and driving each other on. But I just think, I just think Mal gave that extra drive on for me and that extra encouragement when it came to the games. Um, like and having her there in front of you, like it's, it eases a bit of pressure as well. Like cause she's she's been in the game for so long, so she knows what she's doing anyway. And then having Karen in front of her, like it is it is a driving force for the backs. Um, but no, like a lot of people do look up to Mal, like um, include myself, like but. No, having her there is is something else anyway. Brilliant. And Mary, then, you know, as you mentioned, you know, you've been on the panel, I think, since 2005. You were there when Travisha Delaney won her All-Star in 2006, the last goalkeeper from Tipperary to win an All-Star. What do you think has made Anya uh, the All-Star goalie this year, the standout goalie? Uh, I suppose, you know, you showed the clip of, of that save from Beth there and... Um, you know, even going into the, the semi-final, the, the penalty, and there was a lot of um, Im important uh, saves that were made that, that kept us, you know, kept us in touch and distance against Galway and, and, you know, helped us to win the game against Waterford. And, um, you know, it was a big challenge to come in and, and go into the number one position. Um, and, you know, it's a, it's a commanded role. It's, it's you know coming in and your first year in the panel and, and having to communicate to, to everyone on the field is, is a challenge. And I think Anya, um, you know, she's obviously been awarded very well for that. And um, it's, I don't know, I, I hope she, she enjoyed the year in and I'm sure she has plenty of success ahead of her as well. And likewise there, Mary, uh, Karen winning her first All-Star dominated 2018-2019. Um, you know, one of Tiberi's standout players again this year and for the last few years. What 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 attributes do you think Karen has that I suppose has won her this accolade? Um, I'd say it was only a matter of time coming uh, for Karen. I suppose after you know the the couple of nominations and the 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 type of player and and the athlete that she is, and um, she's proven herself as as one of the best in the country. Um, as as Anya said, there having her out half back um, and going out to the middle of the field this year was a massive driving force for, for the whole team going forward and um, I can't fault her at all in, in her performances or her game and uh, again massive um, success ahead of her. And Karen, what, what about Mary there playing alongside you or behind you or you know what, what kind of um, I suppose personality is she in the dressing rooms and um yeah it's, it's unreal to have Mary behind me I think like Anya said when I came into the panel first uh she'd be someone I would have looked up to and probably tried to play like her she's just uh so she's probably the most intelligent player that I, I've ever played with the way she uses the ball and just the way she plays like you, you feel very safe having her behind me this year anyway so you know, it was brilliant brilliant um, oh, and just back to you again, um, you know, a lot of people will have highlighted the fact that during the 18, you're still leaving cert student in uh, Burris King Community College. And um, when you, I suppose, when you were told you're starting in the first round of championship this year against Clare, you know, were you surprised or were you just happy or would you be nervous or what was the feeling like? Um, yeah, like when we had the meeting, like I went in like not expecting like I was so sure that I was just going to be the sub like I wasn't I wasn't prepared to be starting but when Bill did call my name like it was a bit of a shock but like he said like it's it is what it is like it's that's how it is now so I kind of just kept going with it really and as the games got bigger and bigger you know we got to the knockout stages uh quarter final against Waterford would you have been more nervous before them games and um, the fact they were televised live on TV and or was it all the one? Was there a big difference playing the Galloway game to the Warford game to the Dublin game or? Um, yeah, I, I 
to be honest, I'd say the Waterford game now I was more nervous for because like Parky Cueve would have been like, I'm not used to any of those kind of stadiums really like, but um no, I'd say the Waterford now was the biggest um one for me. But again, like going again there two weeks later to play um Galway, that was like I was more prepared for it, but still all the same nerves were there, you know. Yeah. And Karen, for you, I suppose you were midfield, you were centre back this year, and um, different roles. What what is your favorite position to play in? Um uh, <laughs> I'd say I'd have to say centre back because I'm just so used to it. Um midfield, I probably went out there this year with the club and it, it probably did take me a while to get used to it. I do enjoy the freedom of it, but I'm not sure I really know what I'm doing out there. <laughs> I panic a bit when I get too far forward, but no, I think I'm probably just so used to playing centre back that I, I'm just a lot more comfortable back there. Very good. And Mary, just to you again, um like this is Tiberi's most all stars that they've won uh since 2006 we won four all stars. I mean in the last 10 years alone we've only picked up two all stars. So to win three on one night, um I know you aren't tuned in now, but to have Anya's name called out and then yours and then Karen's have three Tipperary girls called out before, you know, in the first six names, you know, like I really felt, obviously I'm biased, but I really felt Tipperary were the real winners of the All-Stars. To have to win three was just massive and you know it's a huge boost uh for the county. Would you agree with that, sir? Yeah, definitely. You know, um, it, definitely a huge boost. And like you said, it's a long time since, um, you know, bringing home a number of awards. Um, I suppose over the years, yeah, there's been a lot of nominations and um, there was probably disappointment last year with so many nominations from Tip on the senior squad and, and, and no success up there. But... Um, it's, I suppose, we've proven in the last couple of years, you know, that we're, we're competing, um, you know, better and better and more and more um, in that top four. We're, we're still, you know, the, the main focus of the group is still to, to, to win in All-Ireland and we're still, you know, looking to, to make that step up. Um, but the, the, you know, having three, three awards and, and three names, like I said, three names in in you know the um back half of the field uh three names in, in you know top 15 players for 2020 is is massive and it, it shows that we're um you know we're in amongst the the i suppose the, the top couple of teams there now for um going into 2021 and uh it's it's a massive boost for for the squad yeah and Karen, just looking ahead to 2021, I suppose we need a crystal ball to know what's going to happen championship boys. And um, fortunately, we're still in lockdown as we record this. But, um, you know, you're probably doing your own programs now or, or what's the setup like at the moment? Or? Um, yeah, it's really good. We have uh, Angelo and Dennis in and they're, they've set us uh, individual sessions to get done during the week. So good to kind of hold each other accountable to doing these sessions. Kind of. After a few weeks, you'd lose your motivation to do it yourself. So it's nice to have some guidance now. You, so uh, yeah, we're getting them done during the weeks. And is it like running, or is it S and C, or what is it there? Yeah, we have um, a running session and a speed session, and then a gym program as well for the week. So we have three Perfect. sessions to get in. Yeah. Yeah, and sure. Look, I suppose it's just wait and see after that. But for for you, Anya, um, you know your first year. Uh, winning all get your starting to the starting 15 winning all start what what's the goal for for 2021 or where do you go from there um well I suppose with club like I suppose that's where it all started really so to get to win an intermediate county final this year now would be um ideal obviously Turles got us out for last year but um no I think with tip like I get all of us would be saying like like we're aiming for an all Ireland really and that's the hopes for it. Brilliant. And Mary, um I think am I right in saying is this your 18th year? <laughs> or have you stopped counting? 
Yeah. <laughs> so look, um, obviously, how old obviously, are you on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I never thought of that. Did you start playing when you were born? I know. But look, you're like a fine wine. You're getting better with age. So, but for you, I suppose you're like, you know, you know how hard it is to win, and you know, I suppose you're probably looking at the likes of Anya and Karen and say you know, don't think it's just going to happen. It could be years without winning and make the most of it. Like you have a good group of players together, a good management team, you know, you do want to, to drive on, I assume. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, I know, I know I came in after, you know, Tim had, had massive success um, and, and it, you know, didn't continue and, uh, it's, I suppose you have to just take take each year as it comes. I think Tip are in a in a great position, and that hunger is there because nobody in in the panel at the minute has had has has um senior uh all Ireland medals, you know. And I think the the group of players that are there, like the likes of Karen and Oni and huge um portion of the squad, have had success at, at minor level and school level club level um and are bringing you know are bringing i suppose uh, high achievements into the panel and and are aiming for more so it's 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 positive for the group and um you know continue to raise our standards and yeah we'll, we'll um we'll keep that going for this year again and karen just last few questions um how did you find the year last year you know with COVID and couldn't have um, supporters at the games and you know were you just glad to get back playing or you know was it very I suppose surreal going out playing games and and your own family couldn't come and watch you or yeah it was definitely strange but I think by the by the time we got back playing we were just happy to be out on the pitch because it had been so long it's definitely weird leaving home and they're all just setting up the, the computers to, to link it to the telly and that but we're just happy to play. When you're out on the pitch, you don't really notice much uh, on the sidelines anyway, or the supporters. So, um, no, I was just delighted to get back on the field. Very good. And um, just the last thing then, um, Anya, back in school, did you get homework off for your winning your All Star? Or... Oh, geez, I wish anyway, but <laughs> no, it's all piling up now. So, no fear of that. No homework off, that's a pity. Let's do something about that. <laughs> um, girls, thanks a million for joining us for our first ever podcast. Um, it's been a pleasure to have you. Um, like I said before, to, to win three All Irelands or three All Stars this year um, was a huge achievement, huge testament to the, all the work that's going on in Tiberi Camogie and the progress the team has made, but also um, highlights the brilliant individual performances by Anya, Mary, and Karen this year. Um, hopefully it's the first of many All-Stars for the girls and for Tipperary okay we'll leave it at that for our very first podcast um, thanks again to Anya, Karen and Mary for joining us I know it has been a very busy week for you um, just to congratulate you again on winning your first All-Star um, a massive achievement for Tipperary Camogie and for the three girls um, a well-earned All-Stars um, for their individual performances this year um, this, is the, this has been the Camogie Report podcast brought to you by Tipperary Camogie TV. Don't forget to check out Tipperary Camogie's new YouTube channel and like and subscribe.